EO was cracking, guys. E, you read that title correctly. You already have more information than I do. Because we're doing the body cam footage. But the title of this is When Entitled YouTubers Think They're Above the Law. I love when YouTubers think that they're not just people. But what I mean by you having more information than I do, I'm not sure who they're going to show next. I'm super happy to say that the body cam footage, the first one I did of Nikita Dragoon, did super well. It's very refreshing to finally be able to do something that isn't just 90 Day Fiance. I do love body cam footage, and I haven't obviously watched the one we're about to watch. So let's hop into this shit, shall we? On May 26th, 2023, Orlando police stopped a white Mercedes as it attempted to enter an intersection that was blocked off for pedestrian traffic. Upon approaching the vehicle, the officers observed the driver displaying signs of intoxication, prompting a DUI investigation. The driver was identified as 27-year-old Isabel Bedoya. Believe it or not, I would have sex with this woman. You know you're hot when your mugshot's hot. Let her go. A beauty, wellness, and fashion influencer and Instagram model. We have so much in common. <laughs> I have such great eyebrows. This is my model face. I already forgot her name. <laughs> hey. uh, hello, officer. How are you doing today? <laughs> Why are you window down? There you go. Put the car apart for me, please. Thank you. Can you turn it off for me, please? This guy's being really nice. Usually with body cam footage, I'm more used to turn the fucking car off right now. Can you turn the car off for me, please? Can you turn the car off? For me, please. All right, I think the niceness is about to come to uh, an abrupt halt. When's he gonna drop the please? Thank you. Can you take the keys out for me, please? But why? Because it's a lawful order, bitch. This is a police officer. What do you? You think you're gonna go? But why? And he's gonna go. <laughs> you're right. Fucking why would I ever? Because this is a traffic stop and I'm asking you to remove the keys from the vehicle. You can set them down there in the center console, that's fine. Do you have your license on you? Can I see it please? It's also, I know that you don't have to roll the window all the way down, but she has like tinted windows and the fact that she's not rolling them down is like annoying even from this perspective. I fucking hate cops. I think they should be tar and feathered like we used to do to tax collectors. Because that's all they do, usually. They should be like firefighters, right? Where they wait at the police station for a call. You don't see firefighters out like, man, is that guy starting a fire? But they'll be outside just taxing their own community for going 10 miles above the speed limit. But what I originally said was about her not rolling the window all the way down. Like, people hate cops. This would be kind of scary. Even though it is a woman, but still, they can buy guns now. Thank you. Hang out for me, okay? Ma'am, no. Don't put those in there. No, take them back out. Take the keys back out of the car for me, please. Thank you. I wonder if the cop, like, had to tell her to not do that. Because he's already got her license. Like, yeah, go ahead and try and run. No, we won't even chase you. We'll just show up at your house. How you doing, Isabel? How's it going? Ah, uh, Isabel. Nice name. Uh, name's Oscar Rodriguez, early in the police department. Okay, I'm from the uh, DUI unit, and I've been called over here to... Uh... Dude, my asshole just tightened. Holy fuck. The DUI... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, I'm fucked. No, I don't drink and drive. Never have. Even my friends have been like, yeah, dude, you, you're the one who's never, like, drove and drank at the same time. I'm like, yeah, no shit. I've been in the car with people who have, but I am not going to risk a DUI my life, sure. Your DUI investigation, I guess they just want to make sure that you're okay to drive. Uh, have you had anything to drink tonight? Yeah, have you, you mind getting out of the car for me? I didn't hear her respond, but he said yeah, so that makes me think she went yes. So he went, yeah, okay, get the fuck out of the car. Why'd you say yes? That's crazy. <laughs> you don't want to get out of the vehicle? Okay, okay well, I'm going to remove you from the vehicle. You're welcome. Why's that? I'm sorry? I'm sorry? 
Because if I do, then I'll get in trouble. So I just, I'll just stay here. I'm going to go now. I, I'm asking you why, why you do not want to get out of the vehicle. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I'm asking you to get out of the vehicle. How about you change your wording here too? I'm telling you to get out of the vehicle. These guys are being way too nice. They just all having a good day or something? Is this pretty privilege? I don't know. Because I feel like if I told the cop I didn't want to get out of the car, by the time I finished that sentence, I'd be out of the car. You mind stepping out of the vehicle for me? Oh, Go ahead and lock the vehicle. Is every young person in every generation like this with police? Even though she's 27. I just turned 29 yesterday. So she's a... Full fucking adult. Prefrontal cortex, fully developed. But like, or is it just this generation where they just have a problem with authority? It's like, <laughs> you are not a free citizen at this point. Do you have the, you have the keys right now? Go ahead and unlock the vehicle for me. Because this is going to be a DUI investigation. All right. Report, yeah, she's fucking hot. Over. Alright, go ahead and just, you can stay off the phone for me. Man, this, you're detained right now, you can stay off the phone for me. Yeah, you can, you can get off the phone, you can get off the phone, you can... Take the fucking phone, dude! It won't be that hard, she's drunk right now, it'll be pretty easy. I wish every fucking cop was this lenient, oh my god. Yeah, you can stay off the phone for me. Alright, go ahead and get off the phone I know, for me. I'm, I'm a, yeah, you can get off the phone for me. Okay. Isabel refused to comply with the officer's requests and was shortly thereafter placed under arrest. All right, you're not going to get off the phone? All right, do me a favor, put your hands behind your back. Who is she calling her? The only person that would make any feasible sense that she'd be calling would be her lawyer, but also bad timing. You understand that you're detained, right? Well, well actually... I think it went above being detained. I think she's under arrest right now, officer. <laughs> what do I know, though? It said officer unintelligible. What he said was, man, do you see the ass on her? Jesus. I promise. Let's just go with that. Hey. Right, let's go over here. Uh, I just uh, getting the keys from the vehicle. This is his vehicle. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna stay right here with it until he comes back. Um, I don't have a cage. You don't have a cock cage on right now, dude. I'm always caged up. Okay. So. I'll send him back. I'll figure out what he's doing. Copy. Can I have a female uh, 45 for a search? And he's just crossing his fingers. He's hoping that there's none on duty. Please. This bitch a dime, bro. I'll fucking pay her bail. All right, man. Now you're under arrest for resisting. What's up? It was weird when he told her she was just being detained. God, police are stupid. Also, I wonder, like, if with a good lawyer, if this could be thrown out from resisting arrest. Because she did comply. She was getting out of the vehicle. She was just on the cell phone while doing it. She refused to get off the phone. I feel like mm, they might, they'll probably just hit her with a DUI. Like when everything's said and done. Keep in mind, I also have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. This is not legal advice. Yeah, I'm having yeah. one. And also, um, I don't have a cage. Yeah, I got so you. If you. I'll mind. be the 40. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, no worries. No, yeah, dude, I'll put her in the back. Don't worry. Trust me. I would love to have her in the back of my squad car. Because they have cameras that just show the person. And he's just going to be fucking. Jesus. What's your Instagram again? Let me go ahead and get this. Thank you. Um, can they make sure they get the. The phone? Yeah. I've got your phone. Thank you. We're getting your Wait, first. can you. Can you. No. Can I, I, why can't you? So, right no. now, obviously. No, but thank you. Like. I've got, I've just do it you are not in the place to be making demands right now i know that you usually are like no matter what you're doing like aside from this scenario you could usually make any demand you want maybe this and like an airplane or like the two things I've got your phone i've got your stuff i really hope you have some good lawyers okay. i really hope you do because i got some good 
I got a feeling, even though she's just talking shit right now, she doesn't really know. I think she might be able to score him out of the resisting arrest. Yeah. 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 Stop moving around. This is why you're under arrest for resisting. Stop moving around. You're under arrest. Okay. Dude was so nice in the beginning. Now, <laughs> dude, she's drunk. Dude, they fucking move and sway a lot. Now when he has full legal control, he's just telling her to do whatever he wants. That was a weird flip-flop of behavior. Okay, yeah, you keep moving around. Stop moving around. Stop moving around. Okay, you're under arrest. Stop moving around. Make her sit down. Put her in the fucking squad car then, dude. This is why you're get this is why you're under arrest for resisting arrest because you're moving around. The officer asked, is this her? No. Are you fucking retarded? Yes, this is her. No, it's the guy in the police uniform. Search him. Okay, I'm going to search me. Yeah. You got anything on there? Put me, put me, put me. What's up, y'all? Resisting somehow, I wasn't there to see it. Even he is like, somehow? Because there really wasn't a scuffle or anything. She saw her open the door. I don't know what happened after that, but I'm sure he's correct. All right, we're going to go like this to the back of right here. Yeah. Okay. All right, I just let everybody know, okay? Cool. Um, once we're good, we'll put her in on this side. Same thing on this side, okay? Not gonna lie, this is incredibly boring so far. I like the Nikita Dragoon one so much better. Fousey Tube, I had to see how long this video was. He's next. And that one is incredible. I promise on everything I love, that is an amazing body cam footage. But we've already committed. So. I'm gonna offer uh, yep. do you have a C's over there. Yep. And, uh, there's 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 Sounds good to me. All right. Appreciate it. All right, have a seat. Okay. Is it hot or cold? Okay, can you... Yeah, yeah, give me a sec. I got a feeling this dude's going to try and get, like, get her phone number after this. He just looked like a fuckboy. Is it hot or cold in there? What temperature would be good for you being under arrest? Hot, cold, however you prefer. Okay. Twice. Hey, yo. Dude, I wouldn't even ask a chick twice. You are already at Hot or cold? Nah, I was talking about me. I'll be signal 40 for Oscar 774 Alpha, and I'll have one adult female 1015 ready to start. Uh, I feel like I'm listening to guys who take Call of Duty way too seriously. Uh, copy starting. 28645512DY Center. All right, you okay back there? All right. If you need it hot or cold, just let me know. I'm so glad they have body cams. I don't want to know where this would have gone without constant recording. How to cold back there? Oh, it's cold? Need me to warm you up? Trying to make sure I give us enough room here. I think this is going to be a parking lot refusal. Okay. Have you ever done one of those? No, or? first. Okay, all right, so just hang. You can back up, but I'm going to let them know. Gotcha. And then I'm going to offer her FSEs out here if she's willing to do them. We'll bring her in. They're still going to do the field sobriety exam? She's clearly inebriated. I guess you have to do it, but... Have a feeling she's gonna refuse. Okay. If she doesn't do it here, they're just gonna fill out the paper. Okay. So just okay. Gonna... Yeah, for sure. Bedoya was taken to a DUI testing facility where she maintained her defiant attitude, telling the officer in a threatening manner that she would remember their faces. I doubt that. White people all look the same. I can't see her. Are you gonna be okay to get out of the car and come inside? So the DUI testing center is either she's going to do the field sobriety exercises or they're just going to do a blood draw test. But they would have to file paperwork for that. But ain't no way this bitch is going to be like, yeah, I'm going to touch my finger to my nose. I ain't going to do that stupid shit. Huh? Yeah? To be cooperative and not combative or anything? No? No, it's like Okay. Okay. So we can get you out and you'll be fine? Okay. All right. So go ahead and try to call. Yeah, this 120-pound girl is going to be real combative. 
are you going to punch through my bulletproof vest? No, I get it. Nobody fucking wants that. That shit's annoying. Probably would be fun to taser, though. We can do, I can do FSCs inside, right? Because I haven't done FSCs yet. Yeah. Okay. So let me just go double check with Travis, but I'm... Yeah, yeah, sure. It's a lot free. Um, you gotta step out. Yeah. Um, so, um, we're gonna try to do FSCs here and all that. I don't know if you want to say... Yeah, absolutely. I'll help out. Absolutely. Oh, God, I'd love to watch that. I mean, I'm, I've, I've got the cage. Just I kind of have to stay yeah. here, yeah. yeah. Is uh, Bart back here tonight? Whenever he says cage, they are not talking about the cage in the car. Keep in mind, the cock cage I referenced to, police have to wear their penises in a cage so they don't get erect on the job. Everybody knows that. Yeah, she is. Okay. All right. If anything, I'll talk to her, if anything. Cool. If she has any issues, I'll, I'll call her. I know I sound like such a simp, but Jesus fucking Christ. This is all I'm looking for, a hot bitch who gets DUIs. Let's go. Sounds good. I love you. Dude, he took that as a compliment. Did you see him smile? He's like, yeah, I fucking hope so. <laughs> I'll see you in court, baby. Unless you don't want me to show up. So we're here right now at the DUI Center, okay? Yeah. Um, we're going to do some field sobriety exercises if you want to participate. I know I'm pausing a lot, but it's my show. I don't give a fuck. Do you think somebody's ever been so drunk they saw the DUI testing sign and they parked and they're like, well, I guess we might as well check before I start driving. Don't want to get in trouble. And then the breathalyzer, okay? You doing okay? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. One sec here. Am I good? Not yet. No. Let them. I'm good. Yeah. Just stand right here. No, I'm good. Okay. Okay? Okay, yeah, no, you're right. You are good there. The lighting's a little bit better. <clears throat> I've never seen this behavior from a cop. No, I'm good here. I said good. Get the fuck back. You know what? Sit down. Put your ass on the curb. I'm not moving. Okay. I mean, you did say you were going to walk inside. So you're still not going to move? All right. Cool. All right. Right this way. I don't want you to fall, okay? Yeah, I'm just going to hold on to your waist so you don't fall, okay? I really care about you. Oh. Okay. Any fact check? You know, I can have 56, 7, 20 credits. Yeah, appreciate it. All right. The officer offered Bedoya an opportunity to prove her sobriety, but she refused. To prove her sobriety, I mean, that's not even possible. She, that would never happen. It, it's not even a question if she's inebriated or not. If anybody watching this thinks she's sober, you're wrong. All right, so I'm going to do uh, field sobriety exercises, all right, um, for you being under the suspicion of driving under the influence. All right, you want to partake in those exercises? Yeah. We'll see if she completes them. Is this fucking annoying? I have to do all that? Can I just, like, complete the ones I want? Just take my word for it. There's really not a lot going on here, to be honest. I'm surprised this made it into this video. Not not my video, because I don't vet these. But she doesn't really seem like she thinks she's above the law too much, you know? Like, she said a couple of things that are a little defiant, but that's, like, every drunk bitch. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Wait, no, I don't. You don't want to? Yeah. No. You should. Let's go, dude. Yes. Also, by the way, if I was completely sober, I don't think I would take the exercise either. I'd be like, I'm, I'm going to be way too nervous, dude. Breathalyzer. Dude, yeah, let me fucking, let me blow you. And then the breathalyzer. Sure. Well, now you're under arrest for DUI as well as resisting arrest. Unless the rules are different there, doubt it. They do usually tell the person... It's up to the police's discretion if you refuse to take these, if you have been driving under the influence or not. And they're doing the test, so th they're probably going to think you're inebriated. Okay, because if I don't do them, I, I have to um, go off my observations and decide whether I'm going to charge with you or not, okay? I watch way too fucking many of these, dude. Wow. I have a problem. <laughs> I could be a fucking cop easily. No. no fucking, she's wearing a Balenciaga hoodie. She's got fucking money. She's in a Mercedes. She doesn't give a fuck. Move this on. Let's go. Let me post my bail. Let's fight this in court, pussy. Okay. All right. Give me a favor. Turn around. 
Watch those hands, buddy. I swear it was close to her butt cheeks. This dude's probably been a fan of her for years. He's like, you guys finally pulled her over? I'll be there in a second. Thank you for calling my personal cell phone. How's the yeah. with JJ? All right, perfect. Uh-huh. Thank you. Right this way. So after no, that, you I'm can sorry. definitely use the bathroom, okay? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So you can definitely use the bathroom now. Just have a seat right here. Black seat. You know what I'm so sad about? Like, y'all could have really got some really good motherfuckers tonight, but y'all just decided to be well, Could have got some really good what? I'm gonna run that back. Y'all could have really got some really good motherfuckers tonight, but y'all just decided to be Well, it sounded like the people on scene really didn't have a choice. Really good motherfuckers tonight? But y'all decided to be mean? Or was she offering sex? I'm gonna go with sex. Because that sentence doesn't make sense. Y'all could have got some good motherfuckers, but y'all decided to be mean. She's drunk. She fucking it probably isn't even saying something that she's aware of. But, you know, I wasn't there, so I don't know. Okay. I ask. I use, I'm used to people who don't want it. So, all right, give me one moment. As a consequence of her actions, Isabel Bedoya was charged with driving under the influence and resisting an officer without violence. I would love to know how this went through court. Like, what did she get convicted of? Also, what was her either? Did she did, did she didn't do a breathalyzer, but did they get the warrant to draw her blood? Because then if they didn't do either of those, I feel like a lawyer has a really good case on their hands. She was subsequently released on bail set at one thousand dollars. Jesus Christ. And you don't have to pay her full bail, by the way. I think it's 10 percent. So she had to pay one hundred dollars to get out of jail. She doesn't give a fuck, dude. She's going to be driving drunk more often now. Are you kidding me? They took it so lightly on her. I, I just have a feeling that she got convicted of nothing. Because, like, that's what they do. They get a warrant to draw your blood to see your blood alcohol level. You could refuse all you want. They're, they're drawing your blood. <laughs> How would they do that? They'll strap down your entire fucking body. And it would be funny to them. But this one wasn't too exciting, to be honest. It was just kind of hot. I think her and that officer are going to fuck. I'd like to see it. But I mean, it wasn't too crazy. She wasn't too much of a bitch, especially for being drunk and super rich, you know? Because I do feel like a really good lawyer could just kind of be like, it was up to that officer's discretion, and I mean, he could be wrong. People are wrong. However, what do I think? I do think she was inebriated, for sure. I think she was get, uh, driving under the influence. The resisting arrest, I really don't think she did. I think the cop was maybe getting more fed up with her than her actually resisting. Because he didn't arrest her when she resisted her the lawful orders. She eventually did comply. And that's when he hit her with the resisting arrest because she was on the cell phone. Like, I don't think the cop's going to get in trouble for it. I think he's still within the boundaries of the law of, like, that could technically be looked at as resisting arrest. But just fucking barely. But I also don't give a shit. I'd rather be making fun of it. <laughs> but there wasn't too much to make fun of. It was just like, hey, ma'am, you're under arrest. You want to do the field sobriety? Nope. All right. You're under arrest again. See you in hell. See you on Instagram. I hope you have an OnlyFans. If I let you go and just say you ran away, will I, you give me a free trial? <laughs> Comment down below what you guys think. Tube is next. He goes insane screaming at the police in a hotel room. It's incredible. He lies on the phone, saying that there's a gun to his head. No, no gun to his head. No one's there threatening him. Going to try and have that come out Tuesday. These ones take a little bit longer to record and shit like that, but totally worth it. Sorry, this one was a little bit boring, but I don't fucking control this. You know, this is this is God's plan. OK, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and listening everywhere. It truly means the world to me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.